breaking overnight. A Girard police officer dead and a suspect killed after shots ring out while responding to a call. Witnesses shared their firsthand accounts with 21 News. Within a matter of minutes, the whole whole block was swarmed. A frantic scene overnight rocks a Trumbull County community. We are live with the very latest. Locally owned, locally connected, live from the 21 New Studios in downtown Youngstown. This is WFMJ Weekend Today. Good Sunday morning to you and welcome to WFMJ Weekend Today. We begin this morning with breaking news out of Gerard where a police officer is shot and killed. The suspect shot dead at the scene. The 21 News team has been following the latest developments overnight and Michelle Nix is standing by live now in Girard where a press conference took place just earlier this morning. Michelle, what can you tell us? Sad and somber morning here at the Girard Police Department, Lindsay, and it all started and unfolded on Indiana Avenue here in Girard. Police tell us 31 year old police officer Justin Leo was shot and died at the hospital. He was a five year veteran of the Girard Police Department. Officers were called to a home on Indiana Avenue shortly after 10 for reports of a domestic dispute. Now, once there, after a relatively short conversation with a man there. The suspect shot Officer Leo. Another police officer on the scene then shot the suspect. Initial reports indicate the male pulled a gun and shot a jarred police officer. The second officer returned fire and the male inside the home was hit and pronounced dead at the scene. Justin Leo was a young man I knew most of his life uh, and uh, an absolute gentleman and uh, uh, someone who the city has, uh, uh, has been proud of since he's been here with us. Uh, our community's uh, thoughts and prayers go to uh, Officer Leo's family. Multiple agencies were called to the scene. Girard Police, Liberty Police, the Trumbull County Sheriff's Department, now the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation, and the Trumbull County Homicide Task Force are now handling this investigation. Caroline Collins was on the scene on this all night as it was unfolding, and she spoke with neighbors, one who says she witnessed the entire situation. Out of nowhere, one shot rang out and then immediately three more shots. Aaron Wayland watched the scene from his kitchen window in Girard. He says his two officers approached the Indiana Avenue home. They were met with gunfire. Saw the officer immediately fall. Uh, saw the second officer draw his weapon, shoot into the door, into the house, and uh, give the shots fired officer down call. The police officer was taken to St. Elizabeth's Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Wayland says he would never expect gun violence to happen so close to his home. It just seemed totally unprovoked. They weren't, they weren't trying to get into a house. They weren't trying to make their way in. Just out of nowhere, gunshots rang out. Another neighbor living nearby says she also heard the gunshots ring out. She says she's never experienced anything like this living here. I heard what I thought were firecrackers. But then I heard the sirens and I knew it was more than firecrackers. Judy Worley says she watched as crews tried to save the police officer's life. Rushed the, the officer to the hospital in an ambulance. They were giving him CPR. Both Judy and Aaron say the entire situation was difficult to watch. I mean, seeing it on TV, movies, you know, social media, that's one thing. But you don't expect to just look out your window and see one of your own local law enforcement officers just get gunned down for no reason. With more local news, I'm Caroline Collins. Again, 31 year old Justin Leo was killed in the line of duty. Another police officer returned fire, killing the suspect. Now the officer's body will be autopsied in Cuyahoga County. The suspect will be autopsied in Trumbull County, and that's when his name will be released. Lindsay? You've been talking with your police sources all morning, Michelle. It's heartbreaking to hear the mayor talk about him, knowing him his whole life. We cannot imagine what the family is going through. Now, you and I have covered officer-involved shootings in the past, and in this situation where both the officer and the suspect are dead, 
What will investigators now be working to piece together? How does police protocol come into play with that? Well, I do know from talking with an investigator with BCI that they have not talked to the officer that was involved in shooting the suspect yet. They do have a protocol with that, however, and they do have to talk to him at some point to make sure that it is a good shooting, to make sure that all the rules were followed as far as how he carried out that shooting. They will also go back and follow through how this case was handled as far as when the call um, came out and how that officer, um, the officer that was killed in the line of duty, um, when he responded to that call, just to make sure that um, he was, when he went to that call, to make sure that um, no other things as far as protocols um, need to be changed to make sure that another officer is not put in harm's way um, when they handle a case like this. Because we've heard before that domestics are often the most dangerous calls for police officers, and certainly in this case, it became deadly. Back to you, Lindsay. Michelle, so much for your reporting. We appreciate that. And Caroline Collins, we will check back in with you at the bottom of the hour. So many questions still to follow up on. We have the latest on WFMJ.com and reaction is pouring in. I just received a message from Niles Police Captain John Marshall, who says, quote, this is a great time of sorrow for our area and law enforcement. Our sympathy and respect goes out to every member of the Girard Police Department and their family members. He says, they are prepared to offer any support in Girard if they need anything in the coming days and weeks ahead. We know that the men and women in uniform, they do stand together and this community will stand behind them.